The 7 Biggest War Machines Ever Made Don't listen to anyone who tells you size doesn't matter. When it comes to military machines, nothing is more important than size and power. Today we're going to show you the biggest military vehicles ever created. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Zuber Class LCAC Starting the list with my favorite LCAC, the Zuber Class. Hovercrafts are usually deployed to sealift land troops and vehicles, including tanks, from carriers to shore. The Soviets have established dominance in the hovercraft field with the Zuber class, which first deployed in 1988, the biggest military hovercraft in the world. The Zuber displaces 621 tons and can haul 150 tons of cargo. It has an operating range of 300 miles at 30 to 40 knots. The hovercraft was designed to sealift amphibious assault units, such as marines and tanks, from equipped-slash-non-equipped vessels to non-equipped shores, as well as to transport and plant naval mines. Char 2C The largest operational tank ever produced never saw the fires of combat, but it was quite a creation nonetheless. The Char 2C was a response to the tank frenzy of World War I, which saw both the Allies and the Central Powers debut armored vehicles that turned the tide of battle. Both sides tried to one-up each other with larger and more impressive tanks, and France pushed it even farther with the Char 2C. The vehicle had a loaded weight of 69 tons and measured nearly 40 feet long, carrying a 75mm long gun and a machine gun turret. It took a crew of 12 men in two separate compartments to operate. Mil Mi-26 Next is the Soviet Heavy Lift Champion. It can carry 90 men into battlefield as much as C-130. The invention of the helicopter drastically changed the face of warfare, with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities allowing soldiers and equipment to be inserted right in the center of battlefield. As the technology grew more advanced, engineers created larger and more powerful choppers, finally maxing out with the Russian Mil Mi-26. The largest and most powerful transport helicopter ever created, the Mi-26 was the first chopper produced with an eight-blade main rotor, which gave it unmatched lifting power. It was capable of carrying large-sized cargoes weighing as much as 20 tons. The Gustav Gun When Hitler pushed into the rest of Western Europe during World War II, he found himself daunted by the wall of French forts along the German border. So he commissioned what would become the largest gun ever built, the Gustav, to bombard those encampments from a very comfortable distance. The cannon, which weighed in at a flabbergasting 1344 tons, required a 500-man crew to maintain and operate and shot targets up to 29 miles away. During the siege of Sevastopol, the Gustav played a major role in decimating defenses, but soon afterwards the US Army captured the gun and cut it up for scrap. USS Enterprise Coming up next is one of the most loved aircraft carrier. She was the world's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Clocking in at a length of 1,123 feet, she was the longest naval vessel in the world when she was built in 1958. The Enterprise was meant to be the first of six identical aircraft carriers. But costs for building just one was so high that the other five were cancelled. It used eight nuclear reactors for propulsion and housed a crew of 3,000 sailors. After serving for 51 years, the Enterprise was finally went out of service in 2012. Typhoon Submarine The Typhoon-class subs are the largest military submarines ever built, clocking in at a staggering 515 feet long. Amazingly enough, for a vehicle of its size the Typhoon was remarkably stealthy, thanks to a five-layer hull of sound-dampening plates. Due to its large size it allowed luxuries that a submariner could only dream of. But the Typhoon is not a pleasure boat, it was a submersible nuclear missile farm. It carried a payload of 20 ballistic nuclear missiles and was capable of staying submerged for three solid months at a time. Tsar Bomba why don't we end this exploration of massive destructive power with the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated? The atomic bomb was supposed to put an end to war by the threat of mutually assured destruction. But that didn't stop both sides of the Cold War from trying to outdo each other with shows of force. 
Tsar Bomba was a 27-ton hydrogen bomb detonated over northern Russia's Novaya Zemla archipelago in 1961. It unleashed an explosive yield of 50 megatons, over 3,300 times the strength of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. If you enjoy this video subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon.